Good morning. So this happened just after they had a diet fizzy drink on an evening. They snacked less, didn't have as many cravings, and they probably consumed about two to 500 calories less than they normally do. Why am I sharing that? Well, quite often we think that we have to be on it or off it. We have to be perfect and we can't have X, Y, Z. We've got to be clean. We've got to look for ways that that, that are perfect. And in this instance, it's a good reminder that actually having a, a diet fizzy drink might not seem the most optimal thing. But in this case, it was a replacement of snacking on stuff to give you that sweet hit, which just adds calories, which adds potential weight gain, let alone um, trying to lose weight, but actually gaining weight due to the excess calories coming in. And all for one a diet fizzy drink, which if you look at the studies, you've got to consume a fair amount to have um, an issue there. And that's not to say that that's something that you want to add in, but always ask the question, what's the alternative? What's the alternative? If the alternative is excess calories, excess sugars coming in, I'm pretty sure that's going to do you more damage than the one diet drink. Food for four. Have an awesome day. Any questions, let me know. Off to morning sessions, uh, Marlborough, Chippenham devices today. So busy day and from home. So you can make it as convenient or personal as you would like. So any questions, as always, let me know. And, and let me know what you what do you have in an evening. I chatted to someone else the other day and we, they went for ice lollies. Little ice lolly, hits the trick, slows down, done. And again, it's not about saying no to the biscuit, it's not about saying no to chocolate for not about saying no to the things we snack, but it's about awareness of calories, awareness of why we're eating, awareness of how much we actually need to be happily satisfied and what we actually need to be happily satisfied. Have an awesome day.